In this video I'm going to be discussing uh, a cool little spaceship problem. Or space station, if you will. Okay, so let's start off. You have a space station which is a big ring and there's all these little you could say you could draw along the edge and put bubbles where rooms are every once in a while something like that and then the main point is that the distance from the center to the center of the aisle or I mean to the to where the the people are going to be walking that distance is 40 meters what we want to calculate is what's the rotational speed what's theta dot required to simulate um, to simulate Earth's gravity. Okay, well, I'm just going to put a person on here just to kind of give us an idea. If we just had a person on here, little guy right here, and this is Jack. Let's just say Jack uh, weighs 200 pounds on Earth. So, Jack's weight is 200 pounds on Earth. What we want to do is we want to simulate Earth's acceleration. So, doing that, we know that the acceleration of Earth, or acceleration on Earth, is 9.81 meters a second squared. We know that that's Earth's acceleration. Well, rotational acceleration from kinematics we know is acceleration is v squared over rho or r theta dot squared both the same thing well given the numbers here I'm going to use this one on the right because that just seems to make a little bit more sense considering that we have all that information so let's just plug it in and I'm going to plug it in just below 40 times theta dot which we don't know squared and they want to simulate Earth's gravity, so I'm going to make that equal to 9.81. When we solve for theta, it equals 0.4952 radians a second. Or better way to describe it it's going to be 4 4.73 rpms so f near 5 rotations a minute so you better not have windows on the outside or people are going to get dizzy so now now that we calculated that and relatively quickly actually um, now that we've calculated this, if we cut that rotation speed in half, 
So let's say we had a 50% reduction in the RPMs. So 2. Point, what? 2.36 so 50% RPM or namely theta dot is equal to 2.36 RPMs which is equal to 0.24 Seven six radians a second. I want to know how much is Jack going to weigh? How much will Jack weigh? Who weighs two hundred pounds on Earth? How much is Jack going to weigh when we cut this RPMs in half? Well, we know that the good thing that we should maybe look at is let's just see how is this going to be affected well we know that force equals ma one thing that we can note right here is that the mass is constant so really force and acceleration are directly related since mass is constant. So it's fair enough to say that the F over A equals constant. You could say that. So what if I said this? 200 pounds over 9.81 meters second squared. That's what we had before. What if that was equal to x over 2425? And 5425, that's just me calculating it out, um, doing it this way, r theta dot, you get 5.5 or 2.5425. So when we solve this, when we use this methodology, this cross product, you can do cross product, just shoot it across, cross, cross. And when you solve for x, x is equal to 51.83 pounds. So as you can see, he's a little bit more than a quarter of his weight. Anyway, I thought that was interesting to look at and I hope you guys come and watch another video. Leave comments and for any requests that you'd like and um, I'm going to keep trying to put out a good, a good amount of vector dynamics because uh, a majority of students fail uh, vector dynamics so I just want to provide enough material for it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.